Um, not this time. Not gonna happen. Dang, he's a lot stronger than I remember. When we fought him back in Elysia, he must have been weakened by Gramps' blessing. I'll burn you to cinders. Take that! Ow. Miklio! <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Fitting in for worms who dare to fail at a god. There ain't no god. What the fuck? Boss! No, I swear, I wasn't. Quiet. Oh! Who. Who are you? We won't warn you again. Be silent. Have you forgotten our code, Lunar? You're all out of second chances. Understood? Go. The assassination order was a mistake. Princess Alicia will no longer be our target. You expect me to believe that? We have our honor. Stay. The princess's enemies are legion. For those who wish to remove her, assassination is but one option among many. You have bigger worries than who we are or what we do. I suggest you hurry to the pedestal where the sacred blade is kept. Why are you telling me this? Honor. So, I guess I should be thanking you for saving us. Hmm. Hey, are you alright? What? What in the world? Looks like we were saved by an assassin's guild. By a what? Assassin's they were after Alicia by mistake or something. They took that fox guy away with them. Yeah, with a knife More in his that, knee. It looks like Alicia's not out of danger yet. Looks like. What's going on? Hey, I don't get it any more than you do. Let's just hurry to that pedestal. Sounds like the danger is within the ranks. We can't go any further. There's got to be some way.
So what am I doing? I need to get to the pedestal? Or am I going to Alicia? if anyone ever actually realized that Miklio exists, or exactly what Miklio is. No entry. If you want to check out the festival, go out front. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else, move along. But it's urgent. Can't you do anything? Afraid not. <laughs> do you need a hand? You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get at that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. Sure thing, but we'll need some cash. Cash? Yep. Remember the guard back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. How much? Let's see... I think 1,000 gold ought to cover it. Um. Change your mind? Well, think it over. It's no skin off our butts either way. What do I have? Um. I have zero. Crap. So all I have is Alicia's knife. Oh. Boride. Mm, I can't really see us parting with a thousand gold for something like that. Damn it! Uh, I'm not giving up the prize glove. Okay, I'll use Gramps' pipe. I, I, I feel terrible about it. But he did give it to for actual money. The knife, I can't give away. It's not mine. Hope you're okay with this, Gramps. Oh, this is one swanky ass pipe. This is easily worth over a thousand gold. You should probably get it appraised first. Forget it. I just need your help right now. Well, all right. Works for me. I know you're in a hurry. Let's go. <sighs> Sorry, well, Miklio. Shall we? <sighs> yeah.
That knife wasn't mine. This is the guy. You good? All right, then. I'll be taking your sword. Let's have it. Well, what I think's gonna happen, I won't need it. Well, that was easy. By the way, that pipe you gave me is worth way more than a thousand gold, no question. Be sure to come and see me again when you're done. I want to give you a fair deal. Well, fair enough. I appreciate it. Well then, we gotta get back to work. Thanks so much. Wait a minute. She's one of the assassins, isn't she? Same kind of knives. Eyes are the exact same color, too. Huh. Hmm. We went through all that trouble, and we can't see the pedestal. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> well, sort of. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Being invisible has its benefits. Seriously? Hey, Saray, come over here. What is it? Saray? Alicia! Is that you, Saray? Welcome! And who may this be? This is Saray. Ah, yes. The one who rescued our princess way out there in the ruins. Saray, this is Lady Maltran. She's been appointed as the committee leader for the festival this year. She is also the one who taught me the way of the spear. Hmm. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. It is a pleasure. I can tell. By any chance, did you come here to attempt the trial of the blade? Not just that. To tell you the truth. What this mysterious organization has told you is true. There are indeed those who think less than favorably of me. But even so, I cannot live my life in fear of them. What? What, Alicia? Thank you so much, Saray. I really appreciate your concern. Soon, the finale of the festival, the Flames of Purification, will begin. Please enjoy yourselves. She seems to be avoiding this for some reason. So this is what states people deal with. She didn't even flinch. Oh, that's right. Check out the pedestal. Oh, right. <laughs> What's with the chick? If no one else can see her, does that mean she's a seraph? You probably can't remove the sword unless you can speak with her, meaning no ordinary person can do it. Ah. Uh. Incredible. So that means the legends were true. Hey, say something to her. Me? Unless you want me looking like a total weirdo. But still. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Lady Lake. For the past several years, we have abstained from our beloved festival in light of the general state of the world. But this year, thanks to the grace and assistance of Our Lady Alicia, the Sacred Blade Festival can be held once more. She's gonna try? We yet live in a time of crisis. Violent weather, geopolitical tensions, pestilence, famine. The list goes on. However, 
I believe that it is precisely times such as these that make our cultural traditions and celebrations all the more vital to maintain. Oh, wondrous Lady of the Lake, show us your power. Merciful Lady of the Lake, hear our plea. Cleanse us of our sins and woes with your flames of purification. Citizens of Lady Lake, this jubilant festival shall be as a prayer to the heavens that we may know peace and prosperity. Some prayer, all right. This prayer of yours gonna give us our jobs back? The council already seized the crops and weaponry trades for the state. They might as well declare war and get it over with. Hey, lady, you trying to kill us? This ain't nothing but the council giving itself a pat on the back. Well, we're not gonna stand for it. Find someone else to lick your boots. Silence. Do not disturb the festival. Enough! Ha! Serves you right. <laughs> this whole riot was a setup. Look at that guard. This must be the work of the Chancellor. I can't believe they'd involve the citizens they swore to protect in the power struggle. Were we really so corrupt? Alicia! Saray, get to safety! No! You mustn't give in to hostility! Such emotions will breed hellions! <sighs> To a hell yet. The evil in people's hearts gives rise to malevolence. And once it reaches a certain point. Lady of the Lake! Can you do something? You have the power of purification, do you not? A spirit? And you can see me? Oh god. Nicleo, put those flames out. The black flames are part of the Hellion itself. The most I can do is manage the regular ones. Okay. Saray, you really can see Seraph and Kevin. Oh dear. This isn't looking good. The Hellions are coming out of the woodwork. The power of purification is not my own. It is a power given to those who would draw the sacred blade and become my soul. And I'll do it. What? Saray. To become my sword is to serve as a vessel for me to dwell in, and to assume the shepherd's burden. Blessed with the power of purification and abilities beyond human ken, cursed to be scorned by others and wrought with despair. To protect this land from the Hellions means a constant stream of agonizing decisions. It is a lonely battle, the likes of which you can scarcely imagine. That's the burden of the shepherd? And you want Saray to take all that on right here and now? It is not to be done lightly. May I ask you your name? Oh, of course. I am Lila. 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 My dream is to investigate the the ancient ruins all over the world. I believe that the legends of the past hold knowledge about how humans and Seraphim might one day live in harmony together. I must find a way to make that happen. To bring humans and Seraphim together again, as it was in the days of yore. If purifying the Hellions will save both humans and Seraphim, then... then it's the best chance I'll ever have to make that dream a reality. Are you... really okay with this? Saray. That's why... I shall become the Shepherd! I offer myself to you as your vessel, and shall bear your burden! I've waited long for this moment. For one who is pure of heart and free of corruption, a shining vessel to whom my words will reach. Now, Saray, take up the sword. You got it. Oh, shit. Shit's getting real.
Do it, dude. <laughs> Really, you? Get back, Alicia. <laughs> hey! You'll be able to handle the Hellions, right? Yeah. Just take care of the rest of the flames. <laughs> take it. Shepherd now. Calm oh. yourselves at once. Chancellor Bartlow. Lady Alicia, we received word that there was a civil disturbance among the commoners. Indeed. However, it has already been quelled. By the appearance of the shepherd. The shepherd, you say? Citizens of Lady Lake, I hereby announce that this year's Sacred Blade Festival has come to a close. You heard him. Clear out at once. Please don't hold up. Milady, I should like to ask the cause of all this at a later time. Lady Maltran, your presence is also requested. That guy is... All things. <coughs> yeah, guy's gonna bug. He probably caused that riot. Now then, it is time for me to return to my place within you. Oh, yeah, I am the vessel after all. Now that's a creepy sight. What the... Saray? What's wrong? It's because I have entered his body. I'm afraid he'll have a high fever lasting about three full days. What? Why? Presumably, the human body is reacting to the sudden presence of unknown powers inside of it. Those who make a pact with a seraph usually wind up bedridden for a time. So that's what happens to one who becomes a vessel. I don't feel so good. Hey, are you all right? Not really. I think I'll take a nap for about three days. Saray! Hey, that's my job. I'm making the dirty jokes here, not you guys.
Hey. Well, well, good morning. Morning, you two. You okay? Better than before. Where is this? What happened to me afterward? You're at the inn in Lady Lake. Alicia graciously took care of the arrangements. You out. really were asleep for three days straight, you know? Was I? Now that Saray has awoken, why don't we all take a walk around town? I'm game. All right, let's go. So, is everyone I'm going to make a awake. Is Thank everyone goodness. I'm going to make allegiance oh with going to be Seraphin? Than I thought. It's the shepherd. Literally an overnight celebrity. Indeed, he is. Well, there was a couple of nights. Well, I think I'm going to have to save it here, everyone. I've probably been playing for a while, and I really need to go to sleep, too. So, I want to thank you all for watching. This has been Eshadow here for Tales of Zesteria. I will definitely be back very, very quickly for this. Uh, and I'm going to... I can't wait to get into more of this game. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Once again, this has been eShadow here for Tales of Zestaria. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and post suggestions for future games. And until next time, we will see you soon.